Looks like the coordinates Solens gave me match that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? coordinates I scanned from the spire. A workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place Silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? That device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Fade away. Consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. <laughs> Thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. Guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Might be worth looking around more first. Poor Hades. So cramped in there. No room to think. Can't even speak. Now the processing orb of a Titan, on the other hand. Well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable. Until interrogations begin, anyway. Some kind of log, most of it's redacted. It looks like Silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. Here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by bringing his lance to steal Hades. Crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He could 
then just let me do the same thing and destroy it? See where this trail leads. So here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. Couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it? And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self righteous bull.
must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia. How? Every place I've checked, every lead, they all been dead. All backups purged. So what did he tell him? Merchant. Didn't expect to see anyone else out here. Uh, it might be handy to resupply. Oh there! What's Honora doing this far west? Ah, no matter, no matter. I can get you stocked up for the wilds if you need. fun with that.
Looks like the trail goes into the hillside. Use that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb silence stuck Hades in. And that door looks like a Pharaoh facility. Or a Zero Dawn? Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. Right. Because that would have been easy. What did Silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated. And what did you tell him? Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. Do you know where Silence went? No. He departed 12.8 days ago. Perhaps he... Data error. Behavior prediction structures disintegrated. So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. Do you know why Silence dragged you to these ruins? Silence, then, then you find me here. Obviously. But why? What was this place? Location is square. Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. My deathbed. He called it my grave. But you... Inside. When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated to coordinates based on data error, memory structures, disintegrate. 
these AIs, scattered who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there, cooking up trouble. It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm detected. Yeah, didn't think so. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters look me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are tilted. Extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out plans to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact, non viable biospheres aborted in years 254. No, oh, that, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. Master Override, arms. Commander, stay name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason and I... And using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. 
so. Are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh the rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts? Aloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. Just to... confirm... Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system. Restore control over the terraforming system. Save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a superintelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah, the same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... <sighs> the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Guy is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. <sighs> All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say, on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now. I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say thank you, and I say you're welcome. Messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Asram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindle weed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some in the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a leap lasher's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Those machines should have the parts I need for the igniter. I should scan one of them. My focus can show me where the part is. 
Those legs were built for leaping. And kicking, no doubt. Keep some extra on hand. Okay, got the parts for the igniter. Now all I need is some deep water kindling. Deep water kindle weed. Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting invaluable data. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I'd step back if I were you. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. But I could use this igniter if I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. A lot of water in here. There must be runoff from the peaks above. It may have been leaking in for some time.
place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. But that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. This is familiar. Picking my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup. <laughs> Refreshing, I guess. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. <laughs> Door's locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. It looks like this connects to the door, but it needs power. That did it. My man Ted, harbinger of the end of times. What's above what me? What can I do for you? Your modifications to Recluse Spider, the separate repositories for Gaia and Hades samples, well, the costs are off the charts. I'm gonna move testing of the Hades protocol to Zero Dawn headquarters next week. Slow down, Haas. Let me put it to you, nursery school simple. Baby Hades is a vile little thing. And it's got to stay in its crib. One slip and it'll cut off every data stream and power line it licks. That's why this dark and scary hole you made is perfect. 
very hard to get an unauthorized signal out, so all the cyber nukes you were working on here didn't fly the coop. You know, like Drax.net-4. I think your boys nicknamed that one the Moldova Brain Hack. That was a clearance level nine project. Aw, oh, thought you goo scrubbed this place quickly clean. But your pal Trav went over it with a white glove and found the grime. No, here we'll be just fine for Hades. Later, teddy bear. If this place was isolated from the outside, then any Gaia backup stored here wouldn't have been purged. Safe from Ted Ferro's machinations to obliterate Gaia's Apollo database. What was this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power. This console shut down. This looks like the same device from the other room. Maybe I can use the energy cell here. What do we have here? <laughs> Elizabeth and Travis Tate. I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rapscallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal lag. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. 
color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, could love this world so damn much, but no one in it? I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. Here she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. There's another panel up there that I should be able to pull open. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. Polecaster can latch onto that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. jump. I don't think I'm gonna get to the door from here. facility over there. I better take a look. door. What's that console next to it? Balls, dude. How loud is it out there? Outside the noise dampening field? 150 decibels. Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the hype, Trav? You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. Why start with Far Zenith? I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But, but I told them, I said, make it two spots, because I'm bringing my friend Trav. 
gosh, Hank. Sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No? I'm cool. Okay, got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now. But see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Cool. Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> Could look around with my focus. Looks like this is connected to the door. Who needs a code to open? That's not it. Hmm, I could try my focus. here from Travis Tate this place turned out a lot of malware before zero dawn took over and one of them has a number Deal's off, Tilda. Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. Far Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident... You tried to steal Gaia. I had nothing to do with it. And you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? Please, Liz. Humanity's chances are slim as is. You may not approve of our plan, what if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. Fine. You'll get your copy of Apollo. Thank you. Let's speak again before- Goodbye, Tilda. Time to let go. Elizabeth sounded sad at the end. I think this was personal. Indeed. There's 
There's the door. Getting close. Going down! Okay, so much for the flooded maze. I made it. Looks like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Backup, backup. Start looking. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, powering it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable. And very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I'd better take a look at that excess panel. Yes. Get to it. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. I need to detach the cable from the arm's coupling. Maybe I can shoot the coupling on the arm. Yeah, well, now that it's down, I should be able to access that pod. I was starting to get worried. Do 
data footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Gaia was a vast superintelligence. It barely expected us. without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up. They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. I do. A good one. If it works. You found the maneuver, but it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover maneuver. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. When she's conscious, she helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Ah, uh, yes, well. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek. A genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Aloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. <clears throat> Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entering authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobak. Please step inside. <laughs> Have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone 
something wrong? Shit! Spectres, beta! Well, any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Hmm. <laughs> don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if- Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh. No hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Looking for me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hurting him. I need a way out of here. Maybe if I can bring the whole processor down? I gotta use that console to make it drop more. You don't know what the hollow is. He's too close. I won't make it. <laughs> Hit me. That's supposed to be a weapon. <laughs> we were made. Break the couplings holding the ring. That's not gonna oh. help you, girl. Another one down. What are you up to? But all 
good deeds must come to an end. Have all the fun. Was that me killing what you wanted dead? What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. Get out of here. somewhere.
Looks like some kind of power room. A current's lead here. Promising. I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? Hey, There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plain Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines. In the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. Her name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, 
It's Aloy. May I? So what I'm about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. West of Plainsong. There's trouble out there? The Otaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods. Yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all. A miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land, providing sustenance for my people. Until the derangement. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They've altered, year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid, a blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have Food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Overfertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. 
So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Do first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray heard me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, Saw. So. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong, assemble the chorus, tell how you soothed Ray, ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. <laughs> <laughs> she needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. <laughs> she does not need you to help her heal. You could... Come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It, it's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Yeah, me too. You're supposed to be resting. Laurel. 
You should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <sighs> no. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> get out of here. Okay. So, wait. I need to meet Varl and Zoe in Plainsong. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. But first, I might want to explore a little. See what I can find in this area. <laughs> 